Corey, rumors on everything old is new again. Good morning. Did you miss me? <laughs> I totally missed you, Steve. Hey, why didn't you take us with you? <laughs> well, I would have, but it turned out Italy was full. <laughs> Uh, just back from two weeks in Italy with listeners of WLS. Actually, people all over the country. There were folks in Sacramento and Dallas and Jersey and Philly. Oh, cool. Uh, that were there as well. But we had a, a fine time. Have you been? Oh, yes. Yes. It's been like 11 years, and I can't wait. I would love to go back sometime. Did you notice what I noticed? Because my first time. Did you notice what I noticed? That apparently there's a law in Italy that everything in Italy is either up a flight of stairs or down a flight of stairs. Did you notice that? <laughs> Many stairs, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's so when you eat dinner there, you can really enjoy it. You know, that's the other thing about Italy. You walk a million steps and you're eating more food than you eat at home, but you, you don't gain any weight. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this. We walk 55 miles in 10 days. I believe that. <gasps> wow. That's so, cool. Yeah. So, you know, there you go. So I eat the pasta. And, the carbs. <laughs> and also not, tell, not, not making this up, Corey, the uh, tour director uh, nicknamed me the caboose because I was always last. <laughs> We are shocked. Limping. At that. Shocked. Limping. I got this as fast as I walk, Romina. Um, all right. Do you have, the, you of course, vintage Chicago Tribune. Do you have a quiz for us today? I do have a quiz for you, but since the Ed Burke trial begins today, it's kind of like, hey, here's what's happening now. So what did he do in the past? I got so, it. Good, good, good. I like questions. this. Ed Burke. Okay. Ed Burke came to city council after first exploring what other careers? Was it A, priest, B, police officer, or C, both? Um, oh, both, right? Because of his age, I'm thinking it was priest. Priest seems mm -hmm. to make sense. I'm thinking both, Nick. I'm thinking both, you too. Think, yeah. Because I, th I think he had gone to a Catholic school. I know police officer was one, but. I'm going priest. All right, I'm I'll going say priest both. Solo. All right, what is it? Okay, Jane, it's both. It's both. He yes. <laughs> he did go to seminary. He decided not to become a priest. He decided to become a police officer because his father was an alderman. He had pretty plum assignments. So it's not like he was doing anything hardcore on the streets as a police officer. So, yes, and he became an alderman because his father died and there was a rush to fill the position. So he beat out six other candidates to take on his father's seat. And one of the youngest ever, right? Yes, one of the, I think, second youngest ever. I think it was 26 right. at the time. Amassed an incredible amount of power. I got to tell you, I, I, this is just personal, but I like Ed Burke, and I like his wife, and have for many, many years. Um, but if there's a crime here, then he needs to be held mm -hmm. accountable. Yeah, I mean, this is this is epic. This type of thing doesn't happen very often. I mean, we've seen with Michael Madigan, you know, everything that's come as a result of that. So, I mean, this is this is going to be a huge trial. You know, okay. Corey, Number? wait, there's a there's a reporter in town, and her yep. grandfather was a councilman ba way back when uh, Ed Burke started, and they used to hide in what was once the elevator shaft, and they could hear him yelling in the closed-door sessions because he talked the loudest. <laughs> so they knew it was going to happen before the vote. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. That's fascinating. All right, he wrote books, right? Okay, yeah. He wrote books, including one on dead police officers in the city of Chicago, but... In 1997, Burke also led an effort to clear the name of what famous Chicagoan? Was it A, Catherine O'Leary? Okay, that's her property where the Great Chicago Fire began. B, John Kinsey, who committed the first murder in Chicago? Or C, Mike Ditka, who sang just about the worst rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game ever heard at Wrigley Field? What do you think? Well, by process of elimination, even though the cow was let off the hook, we know the cow was a fire bug and had an arson problem. Um, that <laughs> Mrs. O'Leary's cow thing, that was an insurance fire. I don't know if you knew that, and it just got out of hand. <laughs> um, kitchen fire. But I would say, and I don't know the John Kinsey uh, deal, but it's got to be John Kinsey. You know what? That's, that's a very good guess. But being Irish-American, mm. Ed Burke, he thought it would be a good idea for Catherine O'Leary to clear her and the cow from oh, the Great Oh, Mrs. So O'Leary. Yeah. Well, it look was, at him. It was a thing in 1997. Yeah. Crazy. Look at him stepping up. Yeah. And <laughs> and, and uh, Burke has has been in trouble off and on through the years, right? This is number three. Oh yes. For many years, he was considered untouchable. Who finally took him down? Who recorded their conversations? Who recorded their phone calls? Was it a another alderman? 
B, his wife, as you mentioned, Steve, former Illinois State Supreme Court Justice, Ann Burke, or C, Michael Madigan. Who do you think? Well, I think I know the answer to this one. Um, Mike Madigan was busy committing his own crimes. He didn't have time to tape others. My words, not yours. Um, so, so Andrea, you go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking it's uh, Alderman Solis, wasn't it? Yes, you're right. Andrea, you're right. Yes, yes. Who, yeah. Alderman Daniel Solis started to wear a recorder and actually at the... At the we call it a wire in the game, okay? We're wearing a wire. <laughs> He was wearing a wire, Steve. And that started at the Democratic National Convention in July 2016. And, of course, Ed Burke started talking. So that's where they're starting with this. And Solis is facing his own charges. He, he's one of more than so, – so far there have been more than 30 Chicago aldermen who have either pled guilty or been convicted of crimes. And Solis is yet another one of those who's also facing charges. So yeah, but that – chose to work with the government to uh, relieve those charges. I don't know where people get the idea that Chicago politics is dirty. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> so strange. All right, if we want, and we do, if we want the vintage Chicago Tribune, it's an easy process, right? Totally easy. It's totally free. Just go to chicagotribune.com forward slash newsletter, sign up for Vintage Chicago Tribune, and I'll be in your inbox every Thursday afternoon. All right. Great to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's one of the Thanks, reasons Corey. I came back. Thank you, love Corey. You, Corey. You nice go. talking to you. I love Corey, and I love her. By the way, when you were gone, uh, Alderman Solis's daughter, mm -hmm. Maya Solis, resigned from her high-ranking post at the Chicago Park District amid this controversy. Hmm. Hmm. So we're all cleaned mm -hmm. up now? Yeah. Okay, good. We're all good.